Disclaimer, all acts, techniques, recommendations, etc. may not be up to real life standards and should only be used in realistic roleplay when without consultation of professional advice beforehand. But besides that, please enjoy the video. Hello everyone, it is Lillian Mapleweb here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my very proud history as a lifelong equestrian. So this has been a video that I've been wanting to do, but I just haven't had the time to do it. And I think that this video will be a good refresher for some of my OGs, but also a good introduction for people who are new. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get started. I was born in Governor's Fall, and this was one of the most urban places in Jorvik, not a very horsey neighborhood, and although my parents weren't riders, it was actually my grandfather, who is one of Jorvik's most beloved jockeys, who inspired me to be a rider. So unlike most of my friends, I didn't want to spend my day scooping ice cream at Leonardo's. I was four years old when I rode my first horse, named Copernicus, or Copper, and he was at the Moreland Stables. He was the epitome of a perfect pony. And he taught me the basics of riding, from walking, to trotting, to a little bit of cantering, and a few jumps. We did some trot poles here, and cavalettes and cross rails later on. So this was one of my very first jumps. And then this was a cross rail combination that we worked really hard on getting perfect. And we got two strides in. And then this is a gathering pull cross rail. When I was eight years old, my brother went to college and my parents needed to downsize a house. So we moved to New Hillcrest in this lovely red home. And I got to ride at the New Hillcrest Sables and I got to lease Poncho. He might not have been a perfect pony, but I had so much fun on him. And we got to do higher jumping because he was scopier and cross country and shows, which I never even imagined I'd ever be able to do. This was our very first show together, a winter series schooling show near a village north of Valedale. At the 2011 Aspen Edge Hunter Competition at Golden Leaf Stables, after placing first with Tostado or Poncho, I awkwardly begged my mom to talk to the owner of that cute light bay pony gelding in the paddock. Pumpkin was a three-year-old children's pony hunter, and he was for sale, and only recently broken in. My parents weren't big into the idea of getting a horse, but my trainer was, so on Christmas morning, I found him in the lesson horse pasture. Training him was tough, and I definitely needed the help of my trainer to work him out. This was me riding him after two weeks of owning him, because my trainer had to work with him so hard before I was able to ride him. But fast forward two years, we went to Lexington, Kentucky for Pony Finals, which was one of the biggest accomplishments ever. After Pony Finals, I wanted to start to lay low. So I moved to this cottage in Valedale and started riding at the Valedale Stables. It was a really, really nice place. And although I didn't do shows with Pumpkin as I was starting to outgrow him, this was when I had most of my memories with him. Just walking, trotting, cantering, doing some jumps, and just having the memories that you'd want to have with a horse. A whopping four years later, I decided I wanted to get back into competing, so I found Cairo, a three-quarters shaggy Arabian, one-quarter thoroughbred. I started teaching him to jump, but I realized he didn't like it as much as I anticipated. So I found myself a western trainer who taught me barrel racing, and that was the start of becoming a partial western rider, even though I'm mostly English. Although there was a ton of adrenaline and speed and fear in every round, it's like Cairo held my hand and said, Mom, we can do this. We ended up competing up to national level at several different rodeos, and I have lots of footage of especially my first one.
It wasn't until I met Prada that my fortune was changed. The mare was only three years old when I first started to ride her, and she was a halflinger. But boy, that mare could jump, scopier than even Poncho. And she gave me a ton of motivation to get back into English and jumping and all of that. In 2020, we ended up being able to get the opportunity to compete at the Baroness of Silverglade National Hunter Festival. And after winning, I got asked by a ton of people if they wanted to work at their facility. Moreland asked me uh, if I wanted to work there, Silverglade Equestrian. But in the end, I decided on a cute little family-owned facility owned by Tatum West, Red Oak Equestrian. And I quickly like loaded my horses up, my three horses, and they got used to the place pretty quickly. Here's Prada in the round pen being very cute. And I also got the opportunity to work with other project horses, such as Tofu, who's been progressing really, really nicely. And I'm really excited for what the future holds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely enjoyed making this video and worked really hard on it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye everyone!